human being, when God created him, he created inside him the feeling of guilt and wrong and the feeling of right. Who is this guy trying to call me? Let us see. If you don't answer, I'm going to block you. Why you call me? I call you back, you don't answer. Hello? Hello, hello, CB. Hello, my friend. You are a Muslim? Mm, no, no. I just live in Islam a few days ago after I called you last time, CB. Ah, ah, sorry, sorry. I don't remember. Yeah, okay. All right. So, do you want to say anything? Yeah, you know, you know, I, I don't know, but after I watch your debate with Nadir Rahmat, it's opened my mind clearly, okay? You you have debunked the Quran. But Nadir Ahmed really. is, a, is a big shake, my friend. What are you talking about? Nadir Ahmed destroyed me in the debate. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, just just you, just you know, I, I really, really don't know why Allah... Uh, Say the the wine is uh, haram, but when we died, when a Muslim died and entered the paradise, why the the drink in in paradise is wine? I I really really don't know why. Not only that, I mean in the Quran it says that alcohol is good. It's a miracle from Allah. In the same book it says alcohol is from Shaitan. So when I asked uh, the stupid, you see the stupid uh, uh, monkey box or uh, Nader Ahmad, he went to David Wood. He went to many Christians and he, he said the same thing. Later I noticed that he said the same thing to them. I saw the videos. But hey, you know, you always, know, always, hold on. All, like always when, when they Muhammad when they Hijab. speak when they speak to those Christians, sadly those Christians do not know how to refute them. They don't. So he said exactly the same thing he said to me. He said to David Wood. He said to other Christians, I don't remember how many names. With me, in two minutes. I made him shish kebab from his own. I have to repeat the question more than a hundred times. Is alcohol is bad or good? And he was scared because he knew this is a Christian prince. When he asked a question, you better not to say yes or no. Because whatever you say, he will get you busted. So he debated yeah. David Wood. You can watch the debate. David Wood did not really, uh, just uh, normal answer. But the, the Christians, why I say Christians need to learn how to get the Abdul busted from their own logic. They are stupid. Their God is stupid. Their religion is stupid. Their prophet is stupid. And then they come to us claiming to be smart. How true is yeah, that? Yes. Yeah, I know. Many, many contradictions, you know, even in Hadith, it's, it's like there is a contradiction in, in Quran too. You know, it's like the opposite, the Hadith, it's opposite the Quran, you know. It's you know, uh, the Quran so, so uh, remind me, you said to me you left Islam two days ago? Yeah. When you called me? After I watch your debate, after I ah, ah, so debate, not you... like not live on air, but you called me before, right? Yeah. Yeah, because I see that you called me before here, I see in the chat here in Skype, you called me, uh, let us see. Missed call. Missed call. Ah, you call me. Last time, last time I call you, I really, really confused. I, it's okay. really, really hard, hard to live in Islam, you know. Yeah. Uh, from I, I rise in a, in a family of Muslim, you know. My family it's full of Muslim. They are, uh, they are praying five times every day. And now I, I, I cannot live, live this fully, but. Today, I, 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 I need to make a decision. I declare I, I leave this cult, you know. I really, really don't believe it. Uh, well, you know, uh, anymore. Uh, listen, I just, uh, uh, I'm going to create a new religion. It says you can pray 10 times to beat Muhammad. Who cares? I mean, uh, uh, first of all, you see, when the Muslims, they say we pray five times. Why even you are praying five times or even six times? Or if you are a person of a prayer, 
you pray to God in every act you do. Prayer, before you say words, is an act. In Islam, no. Yeah. It's just moving your lips, as Jesus said. They praise the Lord with their lips. That's it. Yeah. Same time, Muslims, when they pray, let us move to, to trash some icons, because Abdul, he said to me here in the chat, Mr. Human Man, yeah. he said, the verse does not, uh, a Christian prince, the verse does, does it say, alcohol is good? Lie. Call me. In the front, everybody. If I could not, could not show you the Quran saying, alcohol is good, I will apologize from you, and I will give you the password of my YouTube, so you can take over my channel. I have 100, mm -hmm. I have 100 something, 30,000 subscribers right now. I promise in a few You know, you know in, in Indonesia, some area in Indonesia, it's forbidden to sell wine. But yeah. they really, really don't know. A Muslim, a Muslim area here in Indonesia, it's forbidden to sell wine, but they really, really don't read the, their own book. What, 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 do really, mean, what do you mean forbidden? I saw in Indonesia there's night clubs. What are you talking about? There's yeah, no... yeah. Some some area in Indonesia, you know, you you just go to you just look at in Jakarta maybe or you you don't. Well, go, well this is the capital. And... This is the capital. If in the capital people they drink wine, so where it's forbidden then? This is the most important place. <laughs> yeah, just in capital, but you don't look the the small the the outer area, you know, like ah. the in like. But in, this is where the population you know, of Indonesia is in the capital. The capital alone is in the size of a, of a country. So if in the capital people, they go naked, drinking, night club, fornication, and it is not forbidden. So how it is forbidden? Same time, my friend. If you forbid something, doesn't mean people are not doing it. Yeah. In fact, Islam is religion of fornication. So I forbid fornication. But don't Muslims do? Yeah, like like you you say, I I really really interested to uh, the, the the teaching of of Shia Muslim. But after no 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 no, I forget about the Shia Muslim. Focus in the Sunni. The Sunni they do fornication, but they call it marriage. Or what they do, just to change the name of the, the the title of the of the act. So when a Muslim he hire a woman, give her her money to sleep with yeah, him. But and then second day yeah. he divorced her. So they called him uh, Zawaj Orfi, Zawaj friend. This is what Zawaj means marriage. So friend marriage, what does that mean? A man, he was horny. He go and ask a girl, do you like to marry me? We go to the hotel. We don't live together. When we get horny, we go to the bedroom, boom, 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 in the motel. You go to your home, I go, this is marriage, the court marriage. Orfi, Orfi was mean what? There's no even witnesses. It's a piece of paper between them. Says he married me. Yes, it trouble, mar trouble marriage. A Muslim, he go to the front country. Like but a Muslim, you know, a Muslim. Shia teaching, it's like it's like two. You know, they they legalize the the muta, muta marriage. You know, the Shia. It's, muta is one can, of many uh, fornication. Everything they do is a fornication. Not, uh, there's no marriage in Islam. Anyway, my friend, I'm happy for you that you left Islam. But I want to I want you to ask those stars to call me, so people they can enjoy a real debate between someone he claimed to be a scholar, they call themselves Ustaz, and someone he don't know much his name. No, they, they, are, they, are, they all are hypocrites. When I go to mosque and ask them, they, they are angry, you know. Some of them is angry when I ask them about how can uh, how can the prophet, it's not uh, really, it's there is not proof if the prophet Muhammad go to heaven. They really, really angry about that, you know. They, yeah. they say they, they they say to me just believe it don't don't ask so many things you know it's really really hard my my heart you know mm. it's right. really really make, make my, well my, I, my, I'm, my ha I'm happy for you and did you decide to accept Christianity or not yet no no I just learned why not why what why you don't accept the, 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 why you don't other, accept Christianity I just learned about the other religions if you know all right. It's, well, I will give you some time I, I, to read. I cannot. I can believe the human. Can, uh, the God can be human. You know. I cannot believe. Why that. God? He can do anything if He is God. What God mean? Tell me what God mean. When you say the word God, what does that mean? It means He can do anything, right? Yeah. Okay. So why He cannot be a man in the same time God? If God cannot be 
anything he want. That means he cannot be God. As an example, me, I, I want to fly. I can't fly. Okay. But why? Because mm -hmm. I'm just limited. I cannot. I, as simple as that. So, but when we say God, we call him Almighty, correct? Mm -hmm. What yeah. Almighty mean? All might, which means all power belong to him. So, nothing can stop him from being whatever he wants. So why God cannot yeah. be a human and God in the same time? If you are but, if you are using the word God and you believe that God is true, then God means He is capable of what we are not. Yeah, but but you know, I, I don't believe any Muslim apologize, you know, like uh, me Muhammad Hijab, he is hypocrite, you know. When he debate with the Shia Muslim. He just clip with the the debate. It looks like he win, but but if you see the full video, he's totally defeated by the Shia Muslim. He cannot prove his teachings of the CV. You know, I it's know. hypocrite. I say. Well, both of them they are hypocrites. Shia and Muslim they clip the videos too, and Muslim they clip the videos because Islam is a video clip anyway. <laughs> All right, my friend. Yeah, Thank you very much for your call. And yeah, I, but but I want to ask you Zibi, why the the heaven in Christians it's very different with uh, the heaven that I know uh, for all all my life for, for because the last, God because last time because the the heaven the heaven is the place yeah. which is created by God the holy God so why the heaven will be a pimp house it's called heaven for what reason because it's a pimp house no way the pimp is a pimp so. If God, He is, He created me. You know, when God He created male and female, there is a reason. A male and female they complete each other, but one man, one woman. Even in the stupid Muhammad story, he copied from the from the Christian and the Jews. God created one Eve and one man, not many. So, if we are going back to heaven and using the Muslim logic, then we have to go to the state of Adam and Eve, one man. One woman. Why all those women are made just for sex? Was Adam short of desire? Was Adam short of happiness with his wife? Was she enough for him? Obviously she was. Otherwise, did Allah make a mistake by creating one woman to Adam? No. So, why are going to go back now? And there's millions of women waiting for us, made by Allah, Took him 1,000 years to make their skin smooth because Allah is so slow. So we, yeah, don't, I, I we, don't, we don't have I the really same heaven. Don't know. We, don't, we don't have the same heaven because we don't have the same God. And because our God is holy and their God is Satan. Satan, yeah, but... Satan he make you, yeah. he tempt you by tools. And the tools always, sex, money, power. And they are connected. They are all connected. Even men, you see some men, they are so much interested in buying what they call it sexy car. A car. But the whole point of a car, expensive, extremely expensive car, is what? Is power and sex. Because yeah. if I buy, if I buy the most expensive car in the state, and if I buy, let us say, a cheap car, Toyota, for $2,000, both of them, they are not allowed to drive more than 65 miles an hour in USA. So what the point? Why I'm spending $3 billion million to buy a car? Simply because I want to show off. In front of who? Men and women. And those are attracting women who they are whore. Women who worship yeah. money and love money. If I have an expensive cars, all those beautiful women, they will jump in my car because they are whore. They love money. So... Even when a man he do that is for his sexual and pervert and show off and greed. Not because really this car would do any different. Still you cannot fly with it. Still it's a car. But, but, but I want to ask you, what, do you, what make you believe is the, if the, is the Bible is not corruption? Uh, I think the well, Bible, if you, uh, some, some, if, some people... The Bible, it's corrupted, you know. First of all, the Word of God is not only a book. It is God's words, which mean uh, nobody can corrupt something is not written. 
This is number one. So the Bible was not written yet. So how you can corrupt something is not written. Same time, when the Bible is written, and the Bible is published around the world, how come we have the same Bible? It's impossible to corrupt. And why the Christian will agree? So if I say to a Muslim now, I will use the Muslim logic. If I say, do you have bad Muslims? He will say yes. Do you think some Muslims, they deserve hell? He will say yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you think a Muslim, he can corrupt the Quran? He say no. Who? Huh? He just told me he's bad. He just told me he's evil. So why he cannot? Oh, God protected. They are, do you see? They are free. Yeah. So either this book is corrupted and anyone can corrupt or nobody can corrupt. Then if we ask the Muslims, is the Bible according to the Quran sent by Allah? They will say yes. Okay, how we can corrupt what is sent by Allah? I thought nobody can corrupt the word of Allah. The Quran says, La Allah. There's no one can exchange and change the word of Allah. Is the Bible is the word of Allah? Yeah, so, but I, I, I want to ask, I, I really, really ask to Ustad Tuzibi why Allah cannot uh, unite the Muslims here in Zuni, but the uh, you, is, you ask uh, you ask who? Oh, wait, what Ustad, you know. Oh. Ustad, and, and they say they say this is the exam for Allah. But what uh, no. you know uh, from Allah? You know when Allah He says nobody can change His word. Look how many chapters: six thirty, six thirty-four, six one fifteen, etc. No one can change the word of Allah. Was Allah? considering only the Quran, his words, and the rest are not? If the answer is yes, then the rest is not his words. And Muslims are liars, and Allah is liar when he say he sent the Isa the Injil. And he lied when he said he sent Moses the Torah. Yeah, so but, either it is but all why, why, the word of Allah. Cannot, uh, cannot unite the Muslim, you know. They, the, the, the Shia Muslim and Sunni Muslim is fight each other until this day to ECB. Why Allah cannot unite them? This is not really an argument because uh, there is a Christian are not united too. What does this have to do? You see, it, actually the Quran says that Allah, He made but, people different. But but the, the Catholics and the Protestants, maybe they, they don't unite, but they don't kill each, each other. Don't mm. like, just no, like... In the, cer no, in certain, time, like in certain time, people commit crimes in the name of God in Christianity too. But this is not an argument. But in the Quran, you will find that Allah, he says, that if Allah wanted people, law sha Allah, if Allah want to make them one nation in one belief, they will not do what they do. But it was Allah will. That they are not in one religion. Okay, ZV, I will call you later. Yeah, I, I'm in the car right now. All right, no problem. Take care. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. No problem. Just to show you how stupid the Quran is. The verse in the front of you, chapter 6, verse 148, it says, The disbelievers, they say, if Allah will not for us to associate with him, that will never happen. So it's Allah will. The Quran say to them, ha, 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 yeah, right. Ha, ha, ha. That is your fabrication. That is not a true. That is a lie. But the same stupid book says, it was Allah will for them to have someone to associate using the exact same words those who took partner between to bracket and worship with Allah they will say if Allah had willed we would not have taken a partner say to them you are a liar This is not what Allah will. The person in front of you. If you don't like the translation, we can change it for you. What translation you like? 
we have a good customer service here. Whatever translation you want, we can show you. But the same stupid God, he say, had Allah will, they will not become mushrikeen. How does religion work? The same Quran, the same chapter, chapter 6, verse number 107 says, if Allah will, those people, they don't commit shirk. لَوْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ مَا كَفَرُوا مَا أَشْرَكُوا The same stupid Quran say, the mushrikeen, the kuffar who associate with Allah, someone, they say, it is Allah will. Say to them, you are a liar. It's not Allah will. And the funny is, the Quran says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. Well, this is a huge one. The same chapter, verse 635. If Allah wanted, it was His will, Allah will make them all in one religion. So it was the will of Allah. Do you see it? But it's Allah will not to be following one religion. The same chapter. So the same stupid Quran says, those people they say, if it was Allah will, we are not or did not became people who associate with other with Allah. Allah said to them, Oh, you are lying. This is not my will. But in verse 107 says, No, it's my will. What's wrong with this religion? If you send to them, look, the same chapter, how many stupid verses about this. Verse number 111. Allah saying to Muhammad, even if we send down angels to them, to whom? To the human. And the angels, they spoke to them. Face to face. Yet those people will not believe unless it is Allah will in front of you so it's not my it's not my will it's Allah will so even if you send the angels they won't believe why because Allah will is not to believe do you see that guys did you notice the stupid logic so why those people did not believe because it is Allah will so what the problem why they will go to hell If it is at the end of the day, it was the will of Allah. Verse 137, the same. It was decorated to the believers to do what? To kill their children. How is that? Allah knows best. To destroy them and to confuse their religion for them had Allah willed they would not have done so <laughs> it's in the front of you Allah blaming himself for their action but in verse 148 Allah says the opposite of all the previous the idolaters they say had Allah willed, 
we would not be adulterers. Say, that's a lie. <laughs> Let us see. Somebody else trying to contact us. Hello? Hello, Chris. Please get ready to give you your password. How are you doing, my friend? <laughs> Do you, do you remember where we where we finished yesterday? Yes. Okay. You know, I I always always I find it fascinating uh, about you and your friend Ultimate Fort. Yesterday he called me, and he said, and I want your opinion because you are very knowledgeable, not like him. He said that the Muslim women, according to the Quran, have to be caught fornicating in four different time. Do you agree with him? The, the, you, you, you run away from the answers yesterday, right? No, no, we, we, will, we will go to anything you want. We have time, don't worry. So what do you think about what Ultimate Fort, Sheikh Ultimate Fort from uh, Senegal? You are from Senegal too, right? I can only read to you, Mike. Hmm. So now, what do you How think? Do you know? he, he said, I showed him the verse in the Quran, and he is, he is a Quran uh, only like you. So I showed him the verse in the Quran saying, if you have four witnesses, you have to prove fornication by four witnesses. He said, this no. is not about four witnesses no, in the same time. Firstly, it is not the verse is not about to prove fornication. It's about the what? Verse is saying, the verse is saying that if the woman is caught four times in fornication, in four different times, then you should keep her in the house until she is dead or is there. It That's says that, it says that it says that. Yes. Oh, okay, guys. It says that if it is if you cut if you cut the woman four different time, doing fornication, you keep her in her house. Yes, that is what the verse is. All right. Let us go to the verse, can we? Okay, we can we can go. All right. Read for me the verse. Okay, give me the chapter. Uh, so you are answering me about what the verse says, but you do not know what uh, chapter? I know what the verse is. So, why are you asking me to give you the chapter? Uh, because the, uh, I, know, I know the verse, but I, it's like I forgot the verse. Ah, so you, ah you are a scholar who don't remember. Ah, ah, okay. So, you were watching yesterday, and I put the chapter in front of you. And now, from yesterday to now, you don't understand, you don't remember, right? Give me the chapter. All right. Let us see. Okay, let us see. Which, what, <laughs> what, what do you, what, which one you want? Which, what do you mean, which one I want? Because there are many verses, which one? I said, give me the chapter that you're talking about. Okay. Remember, you said, if those are four different time, not four witnesses, correct? Yes, and you okay. have four witnesses at four different times. Okay, guys, it's four witnesses at four different times. Okay, chapter 24, verse number 6. Okay, 24, verse number 6. Mm -hmm. 24. Mm -hmm. 6. Also, as, for those, as for those who accuse their own spouses without any witnesses, then the testament, the testimony may be accepted if you swear by God four times okay. that he is true. So you just this, made this a, you, the you just made a poo, poo You said to me that you need to have four witnesses in four different times. But this verse saying you don't even need witnesses. If you take an oath. Four time. This, this is for this is another this is another verse. It's not the verse. Doesn't matter yeah. which one. So which one we follow? Do we need four witnesses as a must in four different time, as ultimate Fort said, or we just take four oaths four time, and that will replace the four witnesses? Which one? Uh, this, <laughs> this verse is telling you that if there is no few witnesses, you have to swear four times. 
Okay, but how, uh, if Allah, he said, you need, you, and you are the one who confirmed that, that we need four witnesses in four different times. Everybody heard you. But now it turned to yes. me we do not need any, it turned to me we do not even need one witness. It's just we take an oath four times. And why four times? This verse is saying that if there is no witness, if, conditional statement, you don't know English. So, so oh, okay, so hold on. If there is no witnesses, but... This way, anyone do not need witnesses. He's just taken an oath for time. Yes, if there is no witness. Okay. If there is no witness. All right, let us go to a different verse so we can laugh. Because maybe you do not okay. know that when the Muslims, they start laughing at this, the Muslims themselves, they start questioning what kind of, how we can get four witnesses. Muhammad, he came with that one to replace the other one. This is abrogated, you stupid Abdul. So look what happened. Chapter 24, verse okay. number four. But shut up. Huh? Chapter 24, verse number four. This one it says, those who defame chaste women and do not bring four witnesses should be punished with 80 lashes. You said to me, and everybody heard you, they have to be four witnesses in four different time. Show me the four witnesses in four different time. Go ahead. This is another different verse. This is Not the verse. verse I'm talking about. Okay. No, this is the verse I'm talking about. No. Yeah, this, okay, is the, this, see the this is the only verse. There's no other verse. What verse? Okay, we'll go there. Um, those who no, no, no. Hold on, hold man. on. No, no, we will not go there. Hold on. You said this is not the same verse. Give me the other verse. Go ahead. Okay, let me give you the other verse. Uh -huh. Let me produce it. Uh -huh. It's just, uh... Okay, 36. No, <laughs> read it. Okay, four verse of uh, chapter four, verse 15. Uh, verse 15. Chapter what? Chapter four, verse 15. Chapter 4, verse 15, this is about wives. She is doing fornication and four witnesses. Yes. And four witnesses. That is what the verse. Okay. That is what the verse. All right. Okay. I will go to 4. Chapter 4, verse number 15. Read it for us. Go ahead. Okay. Those who commit adultery among your women, uh -huh. you must have four witnesses against them from you. If they do not bear witness, then you shall keep. If they do bear witness, uh -huh. then you shall keep some in their homes until they die, or God create an exit for them. Okay. This is the verse that we were talking about yesterday. This is about what? It's about the woman called, uh, who commit adultery. What what you kind know? of what kind of adultery we're talking about? How many type of adultery do you have? Like the one that you used to do. Is it about yeah, this? Is, is this verse about thespian or about women and men having sex? It says those who have uh, commit adultery, they have committed the adultery. Where, where is the yeah. word? Where is the word adultery? You are facing it. You are facing it. Where? Where? You are facing it. No, tell me in Arabic which word is the word adultery? No adultery there. What you are facing the verse, right? No, adultery is a fornication, correct? Adultery? The fornication? Yeah. You don't know the difference between adultery and fornication? I'm asking you, is adultery is a fornication or not? When you say adultery, do you mean fornication? No, I mean adultery. I, know, I don't mean fornication. I mean so, adultery. Okay, uh, so explain to us what is the difference between adultery and fornication in Islam? Okay, go to your own dictionary. You, 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 no, no, you I, tell I me, Mr. You, you are a Quran only, and you can go to any dictionary, no problem. Give me the answer. What is the difference between to... fornication and adultery, according to you? Just help yourself and acquire a dictionary. No it's problem. Easy. Give me the answer. Hey, I, I type it. I type it. I have it. No. So now tell me, what the difference between fornication and adultery? You said it's different. So you're running away from the verse right now? No, we are not. We are talking about it. Oh, so okay. I I said to you, I said to you, where is the word adultery in the verse? You are facing the, the verse. Where, where? You're okay, facing... okay. Point your finger at the word. Tell me this is the word. Here we go. I will show it in Arabic. Here we go. 
ultimate part he said you do not need to, to know Arabic to understand the Quran so all I'm asking you where is the word adultery in the verse in chapter you chosen for us chapter 4 verse number 15 I'm listening what you are facing the verse right what the verse is okay the word is um Alifashata al mean? Alfashata? Which word are you talking about? It's Alfashata. Alfashata mean? Uh, ultimate part, he told you this is Alfashata? Yes. There's no such an Arabic word. Fashata. What Fashata? Fashata? You are facing it. What do you mean there's no such word? There's no such a word. I challenge you. I never heard of it. Alfashata? <laughs> you are. <laughs> Okay, I challenge you in front of everybody to show me the word al fashita in the verse in front of us. Which one? Okay. al fahisha al fahisha not al fashita you donkey. So it's al fahisha Okay, now. Is al fahisha is a fornication? Yes. You are the one who said to me, open dictionary. Just to, 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 to know the meaning, no. ask me. I'm asking you, is Al-Fahisha is a fornication? I said, yes, Im that's immorality, yes. yes. Did, you, did you say to me, open the dictionary? Yes, I asked you to open the dictionary to school yourself. Okay. You don't ask me a necessary question. All right. According to Islam dictionary, Al-Fahisha is something less than fornication, which is kissing, touching, playing, Blue job, etc. Is that true? No. Okay, give me the reference, please. Open your own dictionary, any Arabic dictionary. I just did. No, you did not. Okay. You know what? Uh, uh, every Muslim is listening to you now, and this is recorded, right? I can show tons mm -hmm. of reference saying that Al Fahisha, if we go to the chapter speaking about Al Lamam, al -lamam. What is al mm -hmm. A man, a man, hold on. Um, uh, uh, if I ask you right now, if a man, he kissed a woman in Islam, she is not his wife, or she is married, is that, is that a fahisha or fornication? Why should you do that? I'm asking you. I'm not asking you why she did that. She is horny. Let, okay, let us go to the verse. I'm asking okay, you, if a woman, she kissed a man in Islam, is that considered adultery or fahisha? We have to go to the verse. You don't stop. Give me the answer. I mean, why? Okay, you go to any verse you want. I want the answer. How you how you give me the answer? I don't care. Is al fahisha is adultery or it is? I said. I said I don't know the answer till we go to the Quran. So till what? So verse. so you are Mister? I don't know. Till we go to the verse. I thought you wanna, I thought you want to get me busted. It turned to be you are so each time I ask you a question, you put me in the corner. You say I don't know. Is that how you escape? I've get you busted already from the verse. No, I'm asking. I'm one. asking you now in the front of everybody. What is al fahisha? If a man he kissed a woman, she is not his wife, regardless if she is married or okay. single. Is that a fornication in Islam or this is fahisha? Give me the chapter itself. I don't care about the chapter. The first in the front of us, you are the one who told me the word fashiha, fashiha. It's fahisha. So now we know the word. So is that word? Don't tell me, give me the verse. Give me the answer, you donkey. That is why I, I said that uh -huh. I don't know the answer. Uh -huh. What? Why you do not know the answer? Because I deal with the Quran. What do you mean? I, I thought the Quran is clear. You said to me you're the Quran only. Yes, it is clear. Very sure. Okay, as long as it's clear, give me the answer. Is Al Fahisha is the same as somebody kissing a woman or it is somebody effing a woman? I said, give me the verse or you go to the dictionary. You said you, you do not know and you said you are a Quran only and you said you understand the Quran and you said you will get me busted. Get me busted. So, what do you mean I do not know when you are a Quran only? Are you saying to me Quran is not enough to explain to you what the verse meant? The Quran has explained very clear in details. Then give but me the answer. Me... Don't tell me, don't tell me go here and there. Give me the answer. I don't know how you get the answer. Give me the answer. Quran only person do not need anything else. 
What is al fahisha mean to you? Is it a person kissing a woman or a man if in a woman? It just means immorality. It just like yeah, the immorality. Immorality can be anything. Lying is immorality. You're a stupid donkey now. No. Yeah. Is it moral to? Is it is it the good manner to lie? Is it uh, 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 an honest uh, uh, thing to cheat in uh, in the weight, in the meat, in the beef, uh, in things you sell? So what are you talking about? I'm asking you about al fahisha al fahisha speak about certain things. It is you who chosen, you know, verses, saying to me this verse, that this one will prove about a woman for no eating. Yes. So why you don't say al fahisha is not kissing? It's, isn't it you, you donkey? Just to show how stupid you are. Isn't it you who said that this is the verse we need for witnesses if a woman for no eating? The verse, okay, okay. Let us go back to the verse right now. <laughs> okay, now we will go by the verse. So, according to you, al fahisha is fornication, not kissing, correct? Adultery. Yes, adultery. adultery. Okay, adultery. is it okay? Is it is adultery fornication or not? Yes, it's still, it's still uh, deserving. So why you are correcting me? Why I say why I say fornication? You say adultery. Because I want you to go by the uh, by the word. Mm -hmm. what, what, yes. what the heck? Listen, I, isn't it the, the Arabic word is one Arabic word, and English is just a translation. Yeah. So is it fornication or it is adultery? Isn't it the same? Isn't it isn't fornication is adultery? He hang up the potato. Potato. The donkey, he do not know that this verse is about lesbian. This is about lesbian. No if in there. This is why it says, your women. It's more than one woman involved. Those women who commit such a thing. What is the man in the verse? Donkey. You hang up because you're a potato. If two women or multiple women, they have sexual relationship, fahisha, those women, we jail them in their houses. So the donkey you choose him. Go. Hello. What happened? Let me call him. Are you there? Hello. Okay. Did you get the answer from Ultimate Fart? I said, let us go to the verse. It's adultery. Abdul, what, 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 what's wrong with you? Let us go to the verse. Let's go. We are in the verse. Okay. Okay. So what is the question? So where is the men in the verse? What is the man? What is the man? The man, the one who come fornication or adultery. It have to be a man and a woman, correct? Yes. Okay. Do you see any men in the verse? This verse is putting the judgment on the woman. It's what? putting the judgment on the woman. It's speaking about what to do with the woman. It does not mention men. But it says your women, they did something, then you jail them. Okay, what we do to the man? The verse is the verse is the indicate here. Listen, you are a Quran only, and you believe the Quran explains itself. You say this is about women and men having sex for no kating, committing adultery. What is the men? Okay, what we do me, to the men? Okay, let me answer. This verse is so, is saying that if your wife is caught in adultery mm. with four different men, then you should provide uh there will be four witnesses. The reason is because the other verse says that uh -huh. the other man, the other man will be given 100 lashes, each of them. Okay, you just said, everybody heard you, four different men, correct? Yes. But you quoted this verse for me to prove that it is four different time and four different men. Yes. But you just for said, sure. but you just said, you need only four witnesses. Yes. 
So where what you are adding for different time to the verse? Look, look, you are facing the verse. The verse says you must have four witnesses against them from among you. Uh -huh. If they do bear witness, if they do bear witness, four witness against what? It has to be four different occasions. Where, where, the, where, where is a different occasion? I want to, you, you see, you are calling me to get me busted, and now you okay. are saying to me, you see, you are almost in fabricating Quran. Now, are you adding the words for different occasion? Is it does it say that you are Quran only? Remember, which means only what the Quran say you say, but look what you are doing. You are adding now a long sentence saying four different occasion. Can you read for me where in the verse it says in four different occasion? You are facing it. Where? You are gonna, you, you, where? Okay, where? Let, where? Let, let me let me explain how it says that. Let me explain. Uh, not not explain. Read the verse. It should be in the verse. You see, your Quran yeah. only. The Quran is Abdul. Listen. If the Quran is saying <laughs> four different occasion, then show me where it says that. Otherwise, explanation is false because it's not up to you to add things. It's not said in the Quran. Remember, you are a Quran only, and whatever the Quran only say, you have to follow without even explanation the quran say so does the quran say the words the sentence for different occasion yes where show me i will take you to another verse then we're going to explain whenever i'm speaking don't interrupt me finish okay, finish this one and we will go to the other verse oh. hmm. where you are the one who called this verse for me you donkey and now we want to go to different verse i ask you where it says for, for different occasion you said this verse. Don't interrupt me. So what interrupt you? So what a big deal? We are having a conversation. You want, you want to get, take the mic and speak forever? So I'm asking you now. It's you who chosen this verse here to prove to me it is for different occasion. You chosen this verse for that purpose. I'm asking yes, you yes. where in the verse it says for different occasion. That is what I'm trying to explain. You're going to let me... So talk. are you saying to me that is in your explanation, not in the Quran? No. It is from the Quran, and I'll prove that. No, where? Where it says, where is the, where is the sentence says, in four different occasion? Okay, because the Quran says that if it is... Uh, they should give 100 latches. But this verse is saying that it should be keep in the homes till death because this is about because you're stupid because this is about women having sex only together women women he says no he says those who commit adult no no those who those who commit fornication in the form of women with women what translation you are reading no what translation what translation you are reading you, your translation. No, you, your translation. What translation do you want? I said your translation. Okay, my translation says two women. It says women. There's no, there's no man. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> what? <laughs> so you mean, according, according to you, okay, let us take example in the Bible. Don't, 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 don't that, listen, Abdul, Abdul. Give me the translation you accept. Okay, Jesus says that. When don't change topic, Abdul. Adults, don't run. Don't put your tail between your legs and say, Jesus says. Jesus says that you are a whore. Jesus says your father is the devil. Jesus says that you will know them from their fruit. He said that the father of all lies is the devil. If you are a follower of Abraham, you do the work of Abraham, Jesus said. But you don't. You Muslims are fabricating answers against your Quran. I can show right now the interpretation saying this is about women having sex together. And the verse after it, you donkey, it says Alladhani, which means two men. So the verse before it, verse number 15 says, if two women having sex together, and the verse after is about men only. So it's about gays and lesbian. You are a certified donkey. You are the certified donkey. Okay, here it says oh. in verse number 16, let's see who is the donkey. And by the way, your prophet says, aren't you afraid from raising your head before the imam? Allah will make your head ahead of donkey. Already you are a donkey. He cannot make you a donkey. Don't worry. So now, verse number 16, does it say about two men? If they do this act, we beat them with sandals. We just hurt them? No, it says uh, the couples. What couples? Okay, hold on. Just to show you how stupid you are. So the verse before it, 
if two men and women, a man and woman, they have sex according to you, we jail them in their houses. Wonderful. The, then how you explain to me the verse after says, if two of you men have sex, we just insult you, hurt them. Why we have different rules? Mean... Why, why we have different rules? Okay, it says, and as for the two of you yeah. who are guilty, punish them both. What? They are guilty of what? And if they are guilty, they are guilty. What, what from the context? What are they guilty of? Fahisha. <laughs> yeah. Certified donkey. Fahisha, the same word you quote for me. You could not call it in the beginning. I help you. Fahisha. So the Quran continues, says, if two of you, wallati yatin al fahisha. If two of them, those women, did commit fahisha, we do this to them. We, we jail them in their house until they die. The verse after says, if two men do what? No, do fahisha. No, it, does not, it doesn't say men. It says that. In Arabic, it says, two of you. Two of you. Not two Abdul, men. Boy. No, this is the English one. This, the first one, it says, waladani. Yes, two men. Two, okay, two is, of you. is a ladani for men or for women? It says two of you. Do you like to call ultimate fort? What do you mean? I, I like to. I okay, like hold to on. You said to me you believe in dictionary, right? Can you find for me right now and get me busted? In I will give you the password. Is it for men, a ladani, or for men and female? Ladani. Ladani? Mm hmm. I think it's, uh, let me see. Uh, squeeze it, squeeze it. It's, it's coming. It's what? Two of you. It does, it does not uh, refer to men or female. It, is uh -huh. it does not. Are you sure, Abdul? Yes. Ah, that's amazing. It's so beautiful, so beautiful. Okay. If it is the same, then why they have different punishment? If this, if the, if the, if the, if the one number fifteen is about a man and woman having sex, and the punishment is to jail them until they die, then how the second one have different punishment just hurt their feeling? Yes, if there are two, if there are two of them, eh, yes, we know it's two. We know, we know. Do yes, listen, focus, focus, potato. Everybody is dying laughing at you. It's recorded. So now. You know, I should pay you money actually to call me every day. I mean, you are the best drama we have. No Muslim is calling. Thank you for calling. So listen, I'm, ask, I'm asking you. If it is the, the first one is a man and women for no kating, what we do, you said, we bring four witnesses in the four different times, which doesn't say that, and you are a liar as usual. But if it is the shut up, if it's the same, why in the verse number 16 it says, if two of you, commit it then just heard them heard them what the difference between the verse 15 and the verse 16 okay the difference is that the verse in 16 is talking about two even if there are two they should be punished so are you saying to me that the verse number 15 is about group sex the verse it for whatever <laughs> Whatever. What are you trying to buy time? We call it ultimate fort. What, what do you mean call, call ultimate fort? What, what do you mean that? You are facing I'm person. asking you if this is the if the first one is a fornication, man and a woman, you claim that. And then we bring four witnesses. And then we the punishment is we jail them until they die. Okay, wonderful. So now verse number 16, talking about what? It says. The two of you who commit the adultery shall be punished. Okay, what what uh, uh, what adultery we are talking about? What if okay. if both of them are adultery? Why here we just hurt them and there we jail them? That is why I'm trying to explain, but you don't let me talk. Really? Right? All this time you are talking, I do not let you talk. You, when I'm trying to clear everything, you stop me along the way. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Go. I will take. Go, go, I will take a nap. Okay. The verse says, and two of you, what does that mean? It means know. that... It means three. No. It means two of them. Explain what? 
It's mean two. You're smart. Okay. If two of you, okay. The two of you, the uh -huh. two of you who committed the adultery shall okay. be punished. Okay. The other man, the other man, the, the first punishment is mentioned for the woman is mentioned in verse 15. This, the punishment for the other person is to uh, 100 lashes. What, are you stupid or what? So how, yeah, how, I, Abdul, Abdul, if, if they commit fornication in verse number 15, we jail them until they die. Is that correct? Yes, that's for the woman okay. four times. Oh, this is for the women. Finally, he got himself busted. So I, I was telling you from the beginning, those are only women. Women. Those are lesbian, you donkey. Now you get yourself busted. So the verse after it is for two men. This is the difference between them. So two men having sex, if we go to the interpretation, as an example, at Jalalain, it says those who they are homosexual. Homosexual. This is why in Arabic it says two men, men, men committed adultery. Alladhani. Oh. Homosexual. Yeah. Read it, read it, read yeah. it. They are doing oh. the act of loot. The act of loot. What we do? We beat them with sandals. Shall I beat you with sandal? Are you a so you are, not are you a gay? So you are not quoting the Quran, you are quoting what is, another book. What I'm quoting? This is even your inter this is your scholar interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> so you are not giving me guys what the Quran says. Shall I hang up on him and give him mercy for tonight or li live him talk? I hang up on you, you for honestly listen, I hang up on you because I feel bad for you, but I will not hang up. Listen. All Muslim okay. scholars agree that this is about homosexual. This is why it says if two of your men no, the listen, two of you, no, you are the one who agreed. You are the one who agreed. That the punishment for the women, the punishment for the women is to jail them in their houses until they die, correct? Yes. Okay. But are you saying that in Islam there's no penalty of stoning to death? The Quran the Quran does not say that it is the Bible. This is another question. I'm asking you. Do Islam believe? I... Do do Islam and Muslim believe that a woman she is married commit fornication? She should be stoned to death. Yes or no? I see the Quran does not say that it is the Bible. It's not a question. It's not a question. Do Islam believe that a woman she is married, she commit fornication, should be stoned to death? Yes or no? I see the Quran never says that. It Stupid is the Bible. or what? I'm asking you. Do Islam say this or not? Either you say don't tell me Quran. Say no. Say Islam doesn't say that. I said the Quran does not say that. I didn't ask you about Quran. I said do Islam and Muslim believe. That a woman, if she is married, commit fornication, she should be stoned to death. I said it is not found in the Quran, it is a lie. So it is a lie. Anything is not in the Quran is a lie, correct? Yes, the, for that for that person that put that judgment, it's not in the Quran, right. it's a lie. Okay, I'm going to ask you just to show everybody. When Muhammad he went to heaven, Muhammad he went to heaven. Do you believe in that? No. You don't believe that Muhammad went to heaven? No. He did not go they to heaven? It's a lie? Ne never. They lied against him from the first hadith. Your own garbage books. Okay, hold on. Right? Hold on. So who is the one who lie about Muhammad going to heaven? Your own garbage book. Your own fellow Christians. Abdul, don't insult. How can I insult you so easy? So I'm asking you now. We are trying to speak in a friendly language. So you want to be insulted, insulting my Bible? I will insult you. Okay, so now. When you say you don't believe that Muhammad went to heaven, so Muhammad went where? The Quran says he was taken to the to the uh, mosque. To where? To mosque, Masjid Al Asq. Uh, where, where is where is where, where is that location? That's what the Quran says. No, no I'm asking you. Uh, Allah took him where? What is that? Allah says he took him at where? night. Where? 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 Mosque, I get it. I get it. Where? Allah took him where? Aqsa Mosque. Where is that? Hey, what do you mean? Where is that? The, I'm, asking you, you I'm asking you, where is, is that? Quran, where is that? Did, did the Quran tell you the exact point? No. I thought the Quran is a book, you Muslim Quran only, you can understand the Quran. So now we do not know where he took him and why he took him? He took him to a place called... Okay, um, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. So, uh, uh, you only believe in what the Quran says. Then you say yep. to me 
the Quran says that we have to have four witnesses in four different occasions. When I say to you, where we can find the four different occasions, you quote for me this verse, chapter uh, 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 4, verse number 15, correct? I ask you, where in the verse it says four different occasions? You are I saying answer. to me, hold on, you I are saying answer. to me, no, you did not answer, you are a coward. You said to me, I believe only in what in the Quran. Does it say anywhere in the verse you gave me that it is four different occasion? Yes, the Quran explained the, the Quran explained that. Show me the verse saying, this is the one. Show me where it says okay. four different occasion. Okay, take it up and I'll answer. Take it up and I'll answer. No, show me the show me the sentence. What do you mean? Why you wanna why you wanna explain? As long as you follow Quran only, you are the one who I'm said, sorry. listen, potato. You said to me that you believe only in the Quran. That's why you don't believe that Muhammad went to heaven, correct? Because the Quran doesn't say that. There's no verse saying there's no verse saying that Muhammad went to heaven. Wonderful. I'm going with you. So now, can you show me where in the Quran it says to prove that you are really Quran only person? Otherwise, you are a fraud. Show me where it says four different occasions from the Quran. Don't explain. That would be funny. You are adding things. It's not there. You see, I am destroying you. You see, I am destroying you. you don't Wonderful. Like Destroy me and show me where it says for different occasion. I'm waiting. Okay. The Quran explain itself. It says that for the, if it is not up to four, the woman should be given 100 lashes as a punishment. 100 lashes. But this one, it says that she should be kept in the house. What does that mean? It means that it has to be four different occasions. Guys, shall I hang up on him or keep him for entertainment? Abdul, what do you mean it's mean? It's mean. It says only bring four witnesses. It doesn't say anything about occasion. The Quran explained itself. Where it's explained that it's four different occasion. Okay, because the other verse says that it says it's call four of your witnesses against them. What do you mean call? For? What, what? Where did you get that from? It's in the Quran. The verse says, you're not reading the verse correctly. Really? Yes. Okay, give me the verse correctly. Okay, those who commit adultery among your women, you must have four witnesses against them from you. If you, they you must what? Women, you must, slowly, slowly, you must what? You must have four witnesses against them. So what, what you are saying to me, I, 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 the verse doesn't say, I just said, Call four witnesses. You said doesn't say that. You must have four witnesses. Doesn't it's a call. You, you must. You must it. ask. You are trying to make it like. You uh, must. You, you, must, you, 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 you must. You must. You must. You must what? You must ask for witnesses. Yes, for you to put her in the house until they die. What, what do you mean by saying ask? Like, do you buy them, or they are there and they saw? They have. I see, what I'm trying to say is that for you to keep them in your house till they die, you have to have four witnesses against them. If okay, they but, so where is where is the four occasion? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Hmm? The other verse says that if she is caught in adultery and it is not up to four times, the woman should be beaten 100 lashes. 100 lashes. Abdul Batato, you keep repeating the same thing. We got it, 100 lashes, who care? I'm asking you now, the, where it says the four occasion. That's what I'm, I'm just telling you. Where? One occasion is 100 lashes. Where, the, four, the four occasion is 100 lashes? One occasion is 100 lashes. One, one occasion is 100 lashes? Yes. That's false. That is a few, Abdul, son of Muta. This is if a man, he made accusation, the husband, if he made accusation in marriage, but this is about lesbian anyway. But if I want somebody, he made accusation for those women, he have to provide four witnesses, even though he is not a witness. He made accusation. So when you make an accusation, you have to provide four witnesses to be one, to be, to be approving what happened. This is what the verse is saying. No, the verse says, the verse says, Don't ever call me again. What a whore. I will never let you talk. You know, I mean, disgusting, stupid, low class, 
garbage. This is what the verse is saying. It says you provide for witnesses to prove it. No occasion. And this is the interpretation of every single scumbag scholar in Islam. And this is the verse you quote for me is about female, your donkey. What a coward. It's enough. Okay, show me where it says for different occasion. Uh, the, the, you know, 100 lashes. Each one is la lashes. But Abdul. You, if you are saying to me that you need four different occasions, that means you need four pakar. Sorry, I apologize. I lost my patient. Four different times to F your wife. I'm trying to help you. It's a shame for you Muslims to say what you are saying. So four times she will be f to prove it for different occasion. Thank you very much. Four time your wife had to be f in order to prove that she is being f. That's what you are saying. Don't ever call me again, potato son of muta, liar, scumbag. It's in the front of you, in the front of you. What is in the front of me, if you could not provide four witnesses, we will beat you 100 lashes. Never come here again. Coward. Son of Muta. This is why the verse after it is about homo. If two of your men, if two of your men did fahisha, you see why the Quran call it fahisha? Fahisha is not a fornication. You're a donkey, potato. Zina is fornication. Fahisha is the same as Al-Lamam. If we go in the Quran, I apologize for saying that word, but you need the patience of angels when you speak to those coward liars, followers of Satan. You can do anything you want except lemon. What is a lemon? A lemon is a fahisha. Illa Lemon. What a stupid website. You can't even find a thing. Let us see. Lemon is an exception of Fawahish, a kind of Fahisha. There's a big sin in Islam, and there's a small sin. Which is not a sin anyway. As you see all those verses saying, those who avoid big sin and fawahish. So there's big sin, and there's fawahish. So what is fawahish? Let us go to al -Lamam. 
chapter 32 verse number chapter sorry 53 verse number 32 those who do great sin and shameful acts that is a fahish a potato potato except the lemon what is the lemon the lemon is part of fahisha which is what playing with the vagina of a woman a woman she put her hand in your penis play with it a man he came to your prophet his name is nabhanu tamar and he said to him i did with this woman what every man do with the women except fornication so what he did he did fahisha muhammad he said to him don't worry this is nothing the man he said i think her husband is doing jihad for you And now, if we take the word fahisha as a fornication, that would be more funny. Because now we are talking about women having sex together, how that is a fornication. Because according to Muhammad, fornication is only intercourse. And women, they cannot do intercourse. Unless Muslim women, they have a penis and we do not know. Do they? This is why the verse after it, verse number 16, says something different. If two of you, here it says women. It doesn't say if two. Women, in general, any women. They do what? They do fahisha. What the fahisha? Lesbian. Having sexual relationship together. What is the punishment? We jail them in their houses until they die. Same time. If we go in the Quran, just to show you that this those people who like uh, the likeness of ultimate fart, they are just as stupid like their prophet. If this is the punishment for a woman for having fornication, according to this guy, to be in her house, there's nowhere here it says, beat them. It doesn't say anything about that. Nowhere it says beat them. That means this is the only punishment, that's it. There's no other punishment. But if we read in the Quran more, we will find there is, there is other, other uh, cases the Quran speak about. That is the fornication, which is 100 lashes. Here, those women, the penalty is to stay in their houses until they die. And you notice how Islam is unfair to speak or to treat the same act. If a woman they do it, we jail them until they die. But if a man they do it, we just hurt them and beat them with sandals. Beat them with what? Sandals. If it's the same act, why we have different punishment? Simply because the first one is women, and Muhammad don't want to kill the women, the, the men, and he make poo poo. Suddenly, if the woman she is having sexual relationship. We treat them differently. But the men, if in men, we just beat them with sandals. 
It says there in, in this, uh, verse number 16, uh, which means just heard them. Just, that's all, heard them. There's no point. What is the There's beating? There's no beating. Jail them? There's no jailing. Four different times. You, Muhammadan, from Senegal, made history. I want the Christians, those who make videos, to combine the video of Ultimate Fart yesterday and the video of this guy today, confirming that in order to prove fornication, a Muslim man, he have to wait until his wife, she, if, four men in four occasion with four different witnesses then he can prove his case so if this is come back his wife fornicated one this week and then he slept she slept and he have witness maybe he was there and then next week she effed a new husband and then a month after, she effed the third man, so not husband, sorry, a, a boyfriend. And she stopped. He can approve it because he need four different witnesses in four different occasions. He said that, not me. Do you see why we say you have a low IQ? Supposedly, he is trying to fix it. But what he did is stupid. Muhammad himself is confused about what Fahisha is. So you will see one verse in the Quran says, Fahisha is fornication. Other verse he says, Fahisha is not. One verse says big sin and fahisha. Because if fahisha is a fornication, this is a big sin. You don't say and. He doesn't speak with Arabic. I don't think even he is the one who wrote the Quran. And the penalty of a woman, she fornicate if she is not married. By the way, the Quran never said if it's married or not. Is 100 lashes. But as you see here, there's a different penalty. We jail them. Why? Because they are women. Lesbian. Here they are men, homosexual. So those homosexual, if they do homosexuality, hurt them. Don't even beat them. The interpretation says beat them with sandals. Beat them with sandals. But I'm so happy that both now ultimate fault look look like the Senegal country is screwed up. In Senegal, you can go and sleep with those men, wives, and this man he will be watching outside. He got the first witness. He invited his friend because it have to be four different occasion. Then you go to his house again. You boom boom his wife. Still he can do nothing because if he accuse her without having four witnesses in four different occasions, as he said and repeat, he himself will be beaten. What a religion. And the stupid smart idiot, he is calling me to prove it.
And I'm trying to help him, says Abdul. No, it, this is not what it is. You need four witnesses. No, 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 no. It's four witnesses in four different occasions. Potato. The Quran in the chapter 4, the same chapter, the same chapter we are reading from. It says that the fornicator, Azani was Zani, Azani was Zani, those who they are doing fornication. Beat each one of them 100 times. Sorry, this is chapter 24, not 4. Let us go there. So, if it is the same, then we should not say jail them because that's it. This punishment is 100 time lashes. This is why it says, Azani was Zaniya, male. And female in the other verse, chapter 4, verse 15, it says women, the adulteress and the adulterer, a female and a male. If they do that, they should be flagged a hundred times. The other chapter, if your women do that, we jail them until they die. No beating. Why? Because this is a different uh, crime. They are lesbian. In the case of men having sex with men, no punishment except beating them with sandals. The Quran never said to do any harm to homosexuals except hurt them we ask we search we check what they are taught what we do it says beat them with sandals and insult them if you beat a gay with sandals he get he might get excited Hmm. It's very interesting how the Muslims they dig in their grave. Now everybody here is laughing that Muslims believe that he should wait until he have four witnesses in four different occasions doing boom boom to his wife. What a religion. And the poor husband, he can do nothing about. Because now if he accuse her, before he get four occasions and four different witnesses, he cannot even open his mouth. So he have to wait patiently until he find four witnesses in four different occasions. We heard him, it's clear. And he defended for our him and ultimate fault. Who in the world want to accept to have a woman in his house. And now he need to wait. He saw her first time. He invite his friend to see his wife being effed by other men. It's not enough. He cannot even dare to open his mouth. Otherwise they will beat him 100 times. He wait for the second time. The guy doing delivery for the yogurt. She invite him inside. She said, I like your milk. He go inside. He if her. The husband now open the door so fast and he find the, 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 the boyfriend in the top of his wife. He got two witnesses now. Short. Still he cannot open his mouth. He have to shut up and say, keep going, keep going. As we heard, four different occasions. He cannot invite a new guy, two guys, three guys to finish it. No. Four 
different occasion. Ultimate fart and his friend from Senegal confirmed that. Few days after, his wife, she got the guy who do check the electricity. Hello, ma'am. Is your husband here? No, he's not here. Sorry. Can I check your electricity? She say, oh, yeah, I need to be charged. Oh, okay. I'm the man to do it for you. He go inside, he start charging your wife vagina. You opened the door so fast because you are a jealous Muslim and you saw your wife now for the second time if in a new guy. You cannot open your mouth. You cannot shout, say, hey, Allahu Akbar, my wife. No, you cannot. Because if you do so, they will beat you 100 times. You have no proof. So you put your tongue in your mouth because you are a pimp. You put a horn in your head or you are a pimp. For Islam is a religion of pimping. And now your wife, she don't feel horny. And you are waiting, wait, watching when my wife, she will if the third guy. What you will do? You need to prove it. She is not going with somebody. She don't feel good these days. Well, I have to wait. Maybe a year. Maybe two years, maybe three years. And not to forget to mention, the baby she is making for you during the four occasions of effing. According to Islam, those are considered your babies. So not only your wife, she is effing other guys, their babies are going to inherit your name and your money. So you marry a Muslim woman. She invite a boyfriend to F her. She have his child. Oh, this is the child of Ali Dawa. But this is not your child. Muhammad, he said, the child belong to the one who owned the bed have you ever heard of this? You own the bed. It is your son. So now you are getting even more screwed. The guy, he screwed your wife. He made her brighten it. His son will inherit you and give the money to his dad. Do you see it? Isn't it fun? You go and you fornicate with a married woman to a rich man. You make her have a baby from you. 20 years after, you come to your son, says, Son, listen, I'm your father. Your real father is me. This guy, he was just married your mother. I was doing boom boom to her. Oh, no way. Let us check the DNA. The DNA says that 99.99, .99, he is your father. The DNA of the real father says that 99.9 .9 is not your father. So now what the son would do? He will give the money from his fake father to his real father, who is the one who did F his mother when she was marrying his fake father. <laughs> so now your wife being F by a stranger. Your son is the son of a stranger. He will take the stranger, your money, your inheritance, and now his wife, the cheater, and the boyfriend and the son, they enjoy the money of the husband. This is a rule. The one who owned the bed. The prophet said the boy for the owner of the bed. I don't know if that will work in the hotel too. So you take your wife to the hotel, you do boom, boom with her there. Is that going to be to Donald Trump hotel? He is the, he is the father? Because it was a Trump tower? 
No, no, no. Muhammad did not mean that. He meant the bed of the husband. So the wife, she ate everybody in town. Still the stupid husband, the poor husband, is the one who will pay for their diapers, is the one they will carry his name, is the one who cannot deny them, and he is the one he have to give them all his money when he die. That is a religion. I hope today we have a good time. And please, those who are making videos, don't forget to put this video of this guy and the video of Ultimate Part yesterday. Don't forget. And you give it a nice title, hot title. In order to prove fornication. You do it the way you want. I'm just giving you the idea. In order to prove fornication Islam, your wife have to be ifed in four different occasions. And you need to bring four different witnesses. Did I say that? Is it a Christian prince who made the claim? No. It is two Muslims from Senegal. I did not say it. How many of you here make videos? Give me one in the chat. The first one who make a good video about those two idiots saying that with nice thumb thumbnail, I will post your channel in my Patreon. Deal? Let everybody laugh at the pervert cult from their mouth. From their mouth, not ours. I never said what they said. Four different men in four different occasions. And the, the stupid idiot, he is fighting for it. He is doing his best to prove it. This is, this is gold. This is what we need. Lili Da'wa, Mimi Hijab, Zakir Naik, and those donkeys from Senegal. It's the same, all of them. Gold. They make poo poo. They think they are defending, but the fact they are making Islam look even worse. Who in the world want to accept that he cannot make a claim of his wife making fornication just because he saw her? He needs four witnesses in four different occasions. Sound good for a pimp. What of a cult? So I want to say thank you all for being here. I need to take a rest. Did we have a good time? Shall I go come back again after a few hours? Or uh, take a sleep? What do you think, guys? Do you see now why I, why I, I did not convert to Islam? Well, my wife, she go, you know, like if she get married, and then your wife, she goes sleep around. You need to have four witnesses in four different occasions. How in the world you can get the four witnesses? What if your wife, she F2 and she stopped? You live your life with her. And you know she slept with two, and you have two of your friends now they knew and they saw her if in a new guy. Two guys. See, by the way, what if your wife she f four men in the same time? Is that going to solve the problem? Because that is four occasion. Oh no, it doesn't four occasion mean two four different times? Not at once. So if she is having five sum, that is one occasion. What a lovely relief. What a lovely. Well, I will see if I get uh, enough rest. I will come back to you. Otherwise, enter with you again. I say thanks to the Lord. We don't have such a garbage belief. Promoters of fornication.
All of this because Muhammad, his wife, she was sleeping around and he could not have sex with her. He tried to cover his shame because there was three witnesses they saw Muhammad's wife, Ifin, a guy his name is Safwan. So Muhammad, he said, let us make them four. And not only that, he made the mission impossible. You have to see the penis going in the vagina. The same as the pen go in the inkwell. So all what the women need to do, she can have sex in the front of her husband. All what she need to do, she wear a skirt, long one. And she can sit in the top of the guy in his lap. Nobody can see the penis going in and out. It's impossible. She stand up, the skirt will go down. In the front of the husband, still he cannot prove it. Very filthy, trashy cult. Now it's time for me to go and dream about Gog and Magog. I like Hoributar. Hoributar in the Quran is the best fiction movie directed by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Actors Alexander the Great, Army Gog and Magog, Commentator Yasser Qadi, Lili Dawa, Mimi Hijab. Zakar Naik, Shushu Dudu Mumuhu. The crowd, the believers, the book, the script, the Quran, and the Hadith. The author, Allah. The teller, Muhammad. The background, the music, the fart of Shaitan. The smell in the movie. The Muslims getting terrified from Gog and Magog. The water in the ground. This is Mimi Hijab piss in his pant when he hear my name. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. This is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly for today. God is good. So is Jesus. I mean to that. See you soon.